Hello everybody, John Abdo here. I recently posted some still artwork which I created on the mortal historical figures in this presentation. The response was overwhelming, so I decided to animate it to give you a greater understanding of these iconic figures in world history. Bybon, son of Fola, at the post-game ceremonies for the 66 Olympiad in 516 BC, he approached the victor's throne of the then six-time Olympiad wrestling champion, the human phenom Milo of Croton. Impressed with Milo's feats of strength, Bybon wanted to exhibit his strength for Milo and his cheering fans. Milo, of course, obliged, and Bybon proceeded to shoulder a huge rock, then perform a feat of strength unequaled by any man, past or present, by pressing that boulder overhead, using only one arm, and delighting everybody in attendance, including Milo. Titormus of Aetolia. In Milo's final Olympiad Games, the 67th Olympiads in 512 BC, then age 47, after announcing his retirement to close out an unprecedented stretch of wrestling dominance that endured nearly 30 years, at the post-game ceremonies, like Bybon, to Tormus, a living giant of a man, walked into the hall, approached the victor's throne, and respectfully asked if he could demonstrate his strengths for Milo and his cheering fans. After giving praise to Zeus for the opportunity to witness another godman demonstrate his powers, Milo, of course, obliged. After dumping a huge boulder off an ass-drawn wooden cart, a boulder three, maybe four times larger than the boulder lifted by Bybon, Tatormus proceeded to squat down, grapple the huge rock onto his lap, stand up into an erect position, heave the boulder onto his clavicles and anterior deltoids, then he proceeded to thrust press the boulder overhead using both his arms. As he was holding the massive boulder overhead, everybody in the hall broke into exultation, but Tatormus sternly corrected, Don't cheer me just yet. Then he proceeded to walk across the entire hall, carrying the huge rock overhead. After crossing a distance of eight fathoms, Tatormus shouted, Now! Praise me now! Prompting all to break into exhilarating ovations. And by now, it can go without introduction, as we all know about Milo of Croton especially those of you who are regulars on my channels. But for those of you who happen to be here for the first time, Milo of Croton is a 6th century BC, multiple-time Olympiad wrestling champion, and the only man in history known to have carried a full-grown bull as part of his strength conditioning regimen. Unlike Bybon and Tatormus, though, instead of only lifting rocks and mason stones, Milo also lifted the ever-increasing burden of a newborn calf, and did so consistently for years until his bovine pet matured into a full-grown bull, weighing over one ton. That said, it's no wonder why us moderns regard Milo of Croton as the father of progressive resistance training. This mortal man's strength conditioning regimen has provided all of us today with the protocol that will boost our own strengths and gain us the competitive advantage. There is much more that's been written about Milo of Croton, the Tormus of Aetolia, and Bybon Son of Fola, all of which are detailed in the USA Today bestseller, Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo, a truly energizing book from cover to cover. If you want to be inspired, if you want to learn about the original mortal strongmen of antiquity, Milo's wrestling career, his relationship with a pack of wolves and his celebrated pet bull, then you must get yourself a copy of Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo, today. Available at all fine bookstores and on Amazon. If you are enjoying this content, please like, follow, share, and subscribe, and I'll continue to bring you more fascinating information on Milo of Croton and other great mythological and mortal figures from antiquity. I'm John Abdo, thanking you for watching. Stay strong and healthy, and perhaps one day, thousands of years from now, people then will be remembering your name as well.